wanted to show you all my setup here to run some water for my cattle. I know if you look in the picture over there by the house, you can see a faucet that comes out in my garage and it's froze up. <clears throat> but I've done this years ago. Got me one of these cage tanks. I was 300 gallon. I was having to water some cows where the pond went dry in the summer. So we took a couple, three tanks up there and set out. And uh, I just take them water every day. And here lately I've been doing this when it's cold here. And I, I can't get no outside water here without running a hose right through the middle of my house. So I've been going to dad's and getting it. His water's kind of slow. It takes an hour out there at his barn because the lines are small and far away from the pump. But uh, here I could fill that 300 gallon in about 40 minutes if my outside water was running. But I just got that and this piece of PVC tubing. And I get near the water tank and I can direct it over in there. I'm just trying to empty it right now. I really don't even want more water than that in that. But our temperature is supposed to warm up exponentially here the next few days. And <clears throat> we'll be back to normal. These guys usually drink out of pond. But I wasn't letting them... I wasn't cutting the ice on the pond for them after what I... I seen some of them standing out on the pond drinking out of the hole. And I don't like that very much, so... But I just want to make a short video. That's just a... Anybody, anybody could do this. It's just a 300-gallon cage tank. I think I gave $40 for that tank a couple, three years ago. And, uh, and they're available. There's people selling them on Craigslist all the time. For 60 70 bucks and <clears throat> you know it if you're having trouble getting water to your animals um, and having to deal with a whole bunch of frozen hoses and crap like that you can get anywhere near them with a pickup well you could do it much much easier like this man i just about got all water out of the tank i've i don't know what the right way is to do it i'll probably leave the valve open because it may have a little water in it that'll come out after I set it off or something, but I have to get the water hose. It's been so cold here lately that I've had that valve froze up. So I have to get the water hose and get after that valve and get it shut before I start putting water in it. <clears throat> like I say, I don't want it to freeze up and bust the bottom of it. So I'm going to leave the thing running, leave it open. Yeah, and, and getting the lid off here lately might have been a hard thing except uh, that one there's got a hole in the other side of it up high so I just stick the hole in the other side of it up high I just wanted to show you that maybe somebody will catch an idea here thanks for watching my videos talk to you later